You know, I think that we're making a big mistake. Throughout all of Jewish history, if you read the Bible, whenever there was an issue, the prophets who came to us basically had the single message, which is turn to God. When the Jews were in the desert and they were attacked by some kind of, I don't know, bees or something, they made the famous medical symbol. It's the symbol of the snake. Maybe they were attacked by snakes, and it has a pole. And they had to look at this. I think there was a snake on a pole. They had to look at it, and they got better. So the Jewish sages teach, it's not that the pole and the snake helped them. They looked up towards heaven. If we want to save ourselves today, we're facing a literal, it's not just a coronavirus plague. We're facing a catastrophe of epic proportions in terms of the economy. Things are looking very serious. But in a single moment, in one second, there was a story that Sancherev, the king of Asher, now this is amazing because the story is not only corroborated in the Bible, in the Assyrian palace, they found the same story, and historians, Egyptian, Josephus, they corroborate the same story. The king had come, he surrounded, literally one day later, was going to attack Jerusalem. And the prophet said, don't worry, tomorrow, no more king. Imagine you have an entire army at your city. And a prophet says, tomorrow, no more problems. And that's exactly what happened. In the middle of the night, God came and he sent a plague, an angel, and 150,000 soldiers died. Everything in this world, as quantum physics and as Kabbalah teaches us, is a game. It's all exactly a program. And God can control this program in a single second. We're going to be in Israel, the Holy Temple. Today is the day. So the key is don't put your hope in humanity. Humanity will destroy itself. No questions asked. Put your hope in God and he'll save us all.